Mercedes-Benz GLE, the runner-up on Car of the Year South Africa 2020. And this is actually the exact derivative that was the runner-up, the 400D. The GLE body, we did test the 300D not that long ago, so the body is pretty much the same. You come around, of course, you've got your Bison and headlights, you've got daytime running lights, multi-beam LED headlights, you've got everything you possibly want. Massive 21 inch mag wheels over here, just to give you that extra presence on the road. The running boards over here, pretty significant running board you can see over there, which is nice and tough and strong, again to give you that impression. Space, of course, by the acres, I mean, you have just got so much room inside this car. It is unreal. Five-seater, there is a seven-seater option, but this is a five-seater. But, of course, it's big, it's comfort, and that's what you're expecting from this car. You come around to the rear over here, and, of course, the tailgate will rise automatically. And you've got about 370 litres of boot space in normal format over there. And then something quite interesting I noticed on this particular car. In the world and days of run flats, we've actually got a spare wheel over here for a change. So many South Africans complain about run flats, etc. Well, there you go. It may be a space saver, but it'll get you home or get you to safety or something like that. Then another little trick I must show you on this car is if I press that button up there and I do that, then watch down here. You can hear a buzzing noise. Wait a moment. And there's your tow, tow bar. Just comes out like that and can retract in the same way. You've got two mean, mean trapezoidal exhausts over there. You've got every possible feature on the car, of course. And that three liter six cylinder diesel engine, 243 kilowatts, 700 Newton meters of stonking torque power. Believe me, that's a lot of engine and it certainly performs. Not like a big SUV, but more like a very, very sporty car on the road. We'll check it out inside and you'll see what I mean. Looking at the instrumentation, it's obviously very standard Mercedes instrumentation, which is no complaint whatsoever. But of course, the crucial numbers I want you to see are 540 kilometers done on the test, averaging 8.7 liters per hundred. That is a lot of open road cruising on this test, more than possibly usual, but it certainly gives you a very, very good idea of exactly what this car is capable of. Interesting to compare the three, the 300D, GLE 300D, Average 9.3 on the test, so it seems like this one could even be lighter. Well, with all the extra power, maybe that's why. You've got your standard multifunction steering wheel with everything. I'm not going to go through all of this again because it's very, very standard. Paddles behind, of course, to operate that incredibly smooth, slick, nine-speed automatic gearbox, which puts the power down, that 243 kilowatts and 700 newton meters of torque, puts it down through Mercedes 4MATIC all-wheel drive system and certainly puts it down smoothly comfortably and this car wafts along no matter what mode you're in because if you come down to the center over here where you've got these interesting grab handle effect for driver and passenger of course you've got your scroller over here and that's the switch that really makes a lot of difference where you can scroll between eco comfort sport or even an individual setting and you can do all of those right there of course the normal buttons for navigation for radio and for telephone all over there very very standard Mercedes and really I don't think I need to explain too much of it for you you've got the ambient lighting that goes across the dashboard of course you can see a sort of bluey purple shade over here this beautiful aluminium chrome type effect across here the upgraded Burmester sound system massive panoramic sunroof and of course the suede Alcantara seating that you've got the, on all the seats throughout. So you've got every possible comfort, every possible luxury. What I have to say is that comparing now the 400D to the 300D, yes, you're paying probably 200 to 250,000 Rand more. I do realize that, but that's not the point here because quite honestly, it makes such a difference. And I actually, I was very pleasantly surprised at how much difference there is between the two. 300 is a great car, nothing wrong. But this one just moves it up, not one notch, but three notches, I'd say. Currently priced at 1.5 million in basic standard form. Obviously you can add extras to every car, they're all the same these days like that. But you can just, I think, see 
This is sheer luxury, sheer class, and a sheer cruising machine, I think I'd like to term it that way. Includes Mercedes 5 year, 100,000 kilometer full maintenance plan, all standard, all very much in the ball game. Yes, you've got BMW's X5, you've got the Audi Q7, you've got lots of competitors. We all know that the Lexus RX, they're all in the same ball game. But if you're in the market, don't leave out the Jaguar F-Pace, just as another one, of course. If you're in this kind of market, check it out, because this is quite a special motor car. A lot of money, but a lot of car for your money. For Motor Motors, I'm Alan R. I'll see you next time.